It's Deborah Atkinson with Flipping 50 and the Flipping 50 podcast. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, I recommend that you do. Truman, who's down here, and I would love to see you and have you not miss a video. But I want to share with you five easy moves that you can do at home. So in your living room, in the space of two to four feet, it's all you need. So if you're in some high rise apartment in New York City, it really doesn't matter. You have plenty of space to exercise and to accommodate high intensity interval training. So if you've been used to going to the gym using the elliptical or the treadmill or the stair climber or something else and you find you don't have those things at home right now and you can't get them, you have this. You have everything you need. So let's distinguish between intervals and high intensity interval training. I'm going to come back and visit that because I know you want to move. What I'm going to do here is demonstrate five moves. I'm not going to actually do a workout, but I'd love for you to do them with me because what I want you to experience is what does it feel like to get breathless? Because that's where you need to be if you're doing high intensity intervals. So all of these are going to be low impact. What I'm going to do here is set a timer. So I like to go for about a minute. What I want you to do is just to lean in. You're going to do one leg up. And the arms, if they do nothing, you'll find it's like walking. They actually want to do something and all you're gonna do is exaggerate. My weight here is on my heel and that's important for those of you with knee issues. If your weight's on your heel, you're not putting pressure on your knee. So check in with yourself. If you're feeling that doesn't feel good for your knee, you're probably on the ball of your foot instead. So sit back and then you'll feel that in your buns over here too. But I want you to go a little faster so we've only got 20 seconds to go in this minute a little bit less so I want you to push push hard power push 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 good like you're sprinting to the finish line you got to keep going core is nice and tight it just has to be stay here keep pushing all the way don't stop and then shake that out check in with your breath now I'm just gonna go ahead and breathe as hard and ugly as that is. Hard, and Truman's gonna come up and coach me a little bit, right? So, at the end of an interval, if you've gone hard enough for it to qualify as high intensity interval training, the kind that burns this belly fat, this visceral belly fat, reduces your risk for heart attack, as well as just gets you into the back of the closet clothes, you need to be breathless. You can't just be moving and then not moving. It's gotta be breathless and then recover, okay? So you get the idea. Now we've almost had a minute of recovery. So if I'm gonna keep you not being lopsided, keep you balanced, I've gotta do the other side, don't you think? Okay, let's try it. So put your weight on this heel. You know what's coming, but I'm gonna guess something, okay? So like me, you may have just done your dominant side. So this one may feel a little more awkward. Just expect that that'll happen. So again, check in. Your weight should be on your heel. And as it is, you're using this glute over here quite a bit. This leg is not your working leg. It's just what we call your gesture leg. But now, because you're using arms, you're using the legs, your core is working, your entire body is working. So I just want you to turn up the speed. Yep, and you're gonna feel a little burning over here. 20 seconds, let's go. Power, all the way, push. Good, allow those shoulders to swing, drop down from your ears, go fast, go fast. Come on, we're almost done. You can do anything for five seconds, right? Go faster, push. Can you get breathless? Because breathless is the definition of success when we're talking high intensity intervals. But how low impact was that? Completely. One foot on the ground at all times. No jumping, nothing hard on your knees, feet, heels, or even hips, right? So that's the first move. I wanted to show you, all right? Super simple. 
I'm gonna have you recover for about 30 more seconds with me. And then I know you may be on the couch, but so, more, so much more beneficial if you're actually doing this and experiencing it with me, okay? I will show you how I put this together in workouts. And you can make it as simple as this. Do a minute and recover a minute. Do a minute and recover a minute, okay? This one, we're gonna take all the way down. Weights on my heels, my knees are bent, my hips are bent, and of course my ankles have to be bent. We're gonna do what we call an uppercut. So it's a punch, the knuckles, face the ceiling, an uppercut truly would be under somebody's chin. So get yours out of the way just in case, okay? And up and up. Now, if you do this with force, what you're feeling is a little bit of those arms, yes, but you're also feeling the core right there and push. Now, if I leave my hips still, just right where they are, I can work from my waist, but if I add a little push and I really press into my glutes and kind of roll off this hip. Now I'm working harder. Now I want you to stay here and I want you to punch hard. Punch hard. Imagine hitting a bag. Push, push, push. Keep going. Five seconds. Keep going. Push harder, harder. Don't stop. I want you to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two and one. Shake that out. Okay. So we did it slowly for quite a while. Once you know that move, that alone can elevate your heart rate. With speed, speed bag punching, speed boxing, right? And very little chance of injury. Low impact, just sitting. So we're using it, waking up your inner thighs. And here, biceps, triceps, getting rid of that second wave goodbye, course working, What's not to love about boxing? So, in that vein, I'm gonna show you a little boxing combination. And that's the next move, all right? So, in about five seconds, we'll start, literally, but what I want you to do is jab, cross, jab, cross. Just let that back heel come off the floor. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold here, take the back knee twice, but with some force, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two knees, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, two. Good, now can you feel your core? Five, six, seven, eight, two knees. One, two, two knees. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice work, 20 seconds to go. Two knees. One, two, and two knees. One, two, two knees. You got it. Don't you stop on me, come on. Two knees. Last time. Two knees. You got it. Okay. Good, a little recovery. Now, if that was all new, like the coordination didn't feel like it was quite there, then your heart rate may not have gotten up quite as high. Maybe you didn't get to this. I need a break, okay? Because that's where you want to be. But when you get a move down that you can push hard on because it's so simple, I've got it, I've got it, then there you go, okay? All right, so what have we done? This, we did the uppercut, and we did the little combination. So you're ready for another one. We're gonna start facing this direction because otherwise we'll be lopsided, all right? So I'm gonna show you a new move, not on the other side, but a new move, all right? So we've already got three, this is number four. And I'm gonna go to five. We're gonna go heel and toe. I want you to get this going so it feels like a rocking horse. Just a heel and a toe, and a heel and a toe, good? Okay, knee up in front instead. Knee up in front, now don't let this collapse. You're just nice and tall. Please don't think about pulling in. Don't pull your navel in, that weakens your core. You're gonna go here and then kick back. Knee and kick, and knee and kick, and knee and kick, you got it? Okay, now front kick, 
and back kick. Now if you have tight hamstrings, back of your legs, you're gonna kick low. So you don't feel you're pulling on your lower back. But if you have great range of motion, get that kick up there, sister. And you may have better range of motion than me. I'll just say that. So not a martial arts girl. This is just kickbox. So here we go though. There you go, kick, hop. Can you kick, hop? Add a little bit more work. Stay here, give me 10. Push, nine, push, eight, hop that. Push, six, yes, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out, good. Feel that? Sometimes you don't feel the breathlessness until you stop. But you should feel like, okay, I got that heart rate up. So we taught you the move, and then we started to do it a little harder. When you know the move going into it, then you can go hard sooner, okay? But about 30 seconds or a minute is ideal time, because you can work the hardest for short periods of time. You can sprint to the finish line, but you couldn't hold that sprint pace for a half an hour, right? Okay, so the last move is actually a combination of moves I'm gonna give to you. So what I want you to do is just go here, sidestep with me, now go two to the side. So if you remember in the day, this used to be a grapevine, but I don't want you to do a grapevine. So what I want you to do is go over, go over. You can put your hands here for now, but I'm gonna have you do something with them on purpose. Are you with me? Yes? So you're gonna go jab, 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 jab. Now that feels easy probably because your arms and legs are moving together. This one may not feel so easy. Jab three times. One, two, three, and punch. That's a cross. One, two, three. 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 Keep going. Good, if it's falling apart, it feels like I can't do that. Don't say that to yourself, first of all, okay? You can, you're just not good at it yet, maybe, because it's the first time you did it. You didn't tie your shoes the first time either, but look at you now, right? Push, shake that out, okay? So just that movement across the floor, and there was just a little step, hop, together and the upper body moving at the same time increases the work so you got it so we review move one in place low impact in fact no impact right all right and there was this right so easy and there was a combination two knees yep and then there was the this and this that became this and that. And then there's a shuffle. Those five moves could be 20 minutes of interval training. Let me turn that off. I don't need anybody beeping at me today. You could also take one of those and do it over and over for a minute at a time. You do a minute over here, recover a minute. Do a minute over here, recover a minute, all right? And you're already four minutes into a 20 minute interval training session. So easy. So if you have five moves, some of which need to happen on your right and your left, you have an infinite number of interval training sessions that you can do for yourself with music you love piping through either your ears or your living room and you can create a workout that is low impact works in a very small space and helps you to boost your immune system by doing short workouts for a high intensity as opposed to longer workouts forever and ever that make you tired and cause imbalance for your hormones. So if you're a woman in the middle of her life, tends to be probably that the middle of your belly is your biggest problem. Whether you gain weight or not, we tend to have a shift right here. So this relocation, taking up residence where it was not invited, you can help the most by high intensity interval training. 
remembering that that has to be get to breathless. If that was helpful, two things for you. Subscribe, first of all, if you're here on YouTube. Second of all, visit flipping50.com. And if you want to do some workouts with me. So that's all fine and dandy, gave me five moves, but what I really want is just for you to tell me what to do, how to warm up and how to cool down and the whole nine yards. Try this, flipping50.com, all spelled out, forward slash five, the number, day flip. No spaces, no dashes, five day flip. I give you five short, 15 minute or less workouts that you can do if you need to start or restart. And I will see you on the flip side. Leave your comments below because I love to hear from you.